Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. I am Casey Durango of Go Keto with Casey, where I like to talk about how I've lost 97.4 pounds since starting the ketogenic protocol, how you may be able to lose weight, improve your health, and regain control of your life like I did. Hope you're well. We are well. And thank you for allowing me to be part of your day. Um, if Okay, I'm going to guess that somebody can he see and hear me. It's always a big question mark. And today's topic is keto surprises. I try to use the word keto in all of my titles because that's the theme of my channel. So for those of you who uh, do not know, I, I'm going to sh share the ketogenic protocol as I learned it and as I have practiced it for now eight and a half years. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Um, Keep your carbs 20 grams or fewer a day. That's total carbs, not net. If it's not on page four, link below, don't eat it, but you don't even need a food list. Eat fatty sources of protein, some non-starchy vegetables in limited amounts, and full fat dairy in limited amounts. Don't eat if you're not hungry. Stop when you're satiated. And then I've decided to add another thing and be patient. So. That's it. Uh, as I learned it and as I practiced it, I never counted anything other than total carbs. Didn't count protein, didn't count grams of fat. I didn't mess with time of day eating or the other phrase that people use. I didn't use the M word, which, you know, macros. I didn't look at percentages. Don't eat if you're not hungry. Stop when you're satiated. We'll very much take care of a lot of that and keeping your carbs 20 grams or fewer really is the full package. Anyway, so I started this not to lose weight. I'd given up on losing weight. If you go to my blog, you can see photographs from my previous life. And some of those involve me, believe it or not, decked out for participation in a sprint level triathlon. Ay, ay, ay. I was perfectly round. I was very heavy. I'm 5'1". And I'm actually 115 and a half pounds lower than my heaviest weight. So that was a lot of weight on a small frame. So I tried the move more, eat less. I tried the, for, you know, years and years, the low fat, the, all the things we try. I did juicing. Um, for, a, for about eight minutes, I went vegetarian. I tried everything. And uh, I gave up finally. I did not want to take insulin for type 2 diabetes. I reckon that was the next conversation I would have with my doctor. And so I Googled how to not take in, uh, insulin for type 2 diabetes. I came across the white coat video of Dr. Eric Westman from Duke University. And I'm happy to say that we have actually grown to be friends. Um, I was never a patient of his, but the information on this white coat video was Keep your carbs 20 grams or fewer. It's not on page four. That's where the page four comes from. Don't eat it. Don't eat if you're not hungry. So the next time I ate, I just laid off the carbs. So where are the surprises, you may ask? This is a slow wind up. Get to the fast pitch. I didn't really expect to lose weight. I was not surprised that I lost some weight. I knew that low carb worked for me. I knew it since 1977, and I revisited it again in the early 2000s. And so I knew that there could be some weight loss. I did not expect to have this much weight loss. But what surprises did I encounter? Almost immediately, I'm talking about within a couple of weeks, the joint pain that I had throughout most of my body, my shoulders, my hands, my wrists, elbows, hips, knees, ankles, everything was sore. And that resolved very quickly. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect for my mood to be regulated. I had lived with and tried to deal with chronic clinical depression. Not every day, not every week, not every month. But those of you who have experienced clinical depression know it doesn't have to be every day for it to impact your life. For me, I, it is clear to me that my body chemistry, which was being fueled 
by carbohydrate intake and insulin spikes and drops was driving those moods. Now, again, carbs, 20 grams or fewer a day. Why? Because when you cut, kind of choke off the supply of carbohydrate, the liver quits pumping out glucose like a fire hose for fuel. Glucose is sugar. And by the way, complex carbohydrate, sprouted grains, whole grain, whatever, or Snickers bar. It all comes out as simple sugar from our liver once it goes in. Carbs come out as simple sugar. That's it. Anyway, when the glucose supply is kind of cut off from our liver anyway, I mean, we our bodies can make glucose as needed, but it's not going to be the fire hose. Our body switches over to burning ketones or fat for fuel. So there's not an insulin response to that. So you don't have the lump and then the drop. So that was unexpected. I didn't expect to not have any more depression, honestly. I mean, not every day is great, as we say around Go Cute with Casey. The sun don't shine on the same dogs <clears throat> every day. And but not depression, which is a whole different, you know, people who have not experienced depression. Don't tell people who are experiencing depression to just cheer up or think about how good life is or turn that frown upside down because somebody will cut you. <laughs> Don't do that. That's an aside. Another surprise. I started sleeping better. Of course, part of that was mechanical. As I lost weight, it was easier for me to sleep. I wasn't having all this pressure but my acid reflux went away, just went away. And cutting to the chase, I've never needed to go on insulin for type two diabetes. My blood work is pristine. My, I had a checkup about three weeks ago. My glucose was 72 or 71, I think. Um, triglyceride was 60 and HDL was 117. If you know anything about those cholesterol markers. That's very good. Blood pressure, perfect. So I'm a very healthy person. I'm on no medications. So lack of acid reflux. Uh, I haven't had an upper respiratory uh, infection in years. And I used to get three or four or more a year. I just don't get sick. <coughs> Knocking on wood. Now, Keto is not, you know, a suit of armor against everything. But I'm doing the best I can do, and my body is optimal to be able to fight off things. You know, my body's not busy dealing with inflammation, you know, like with the joint pain and the acid reflux and all this, all these things that inflama inflammation drives a lot. So my body's not having to deal with the inflammation, trying to put out fires, if you will. And so its defenses are available to fight off the ordinary, you know, thing that we need to fight off. Colds. Uh, things that come up. So that was a surprise. Some of you may, I've heard from a lot of people, I've talked about how they, do, they don't need their emergency asthma inhalers when they are following the protocol. They deviate into eating carbs and they need the inhaler again, unexpected, a good surprise. Some people's migraine has been greatly alleviated. Chronic sufferers of migraine. There's a new person who's joined our Patreon group who would get like three or four migraine a week. I don't know how you function with that, but they report that there are fewer of them and they're shorter in duration and the pain is less severe unexpected. So there are some wonderful surprises that can come along. In addition to weight loss, weight loss should be like number seven of the things that we're shooting for. Feeling better, coming off of medications. By the way, if you are taking insulin for blood glucose, if you're going to start this, you must, must, must do it under medical supervision. Because if you cut off the carbs and you're still taking insulin, it can make the insulin effectively too strong and your blood sugar can drop too low, which is very dangerous. 
So caveat. Now, there are also other surprises. Some of them are not awesome. Relationships can take a hit. It can change. Um, if, if your partner or significant other is maybe not 100% secure and we make improvements and feel better and get more lively and maybe get some you know, attention, we're feeling better, we're feeling more attractive, we're dressing like we give a, a darn about how we look, some people can be threatened by that and that can impact relationships. Friendships can be impacted. Some, you know, hopefully our true friends are thrilled when we, when we feel better and we make improvements to our health and our self-confidence. Some people we, you know, we would hope would do that, just don't. Again, maybe feeling a little threatened, maybe feeling like Comparisons might be drawn. Oh, this person is doing this and I'm not doing that. And so I'm still eating, you know, junk and not feeling great. And so when this person's not doing it, it makes me feel conspicuous by eating it. Well, that's just, you know, someone being very self-centered, which we all are to a degree. But relationships can change. And that's okay. There are relationships that have reasons and they have seasons. And some, the reasons and the seasons pass or they morph. Um, another unexpected thing or a change can be once you kind of take the, oh my gosh, I need to lose weight, which most of us, male or female, have had an idea to at some point in our lives. For many of us, it starts when you're about 10 years old or you're going through puberty and you put on a little bit of weight before the fat goes where it's supposed to go post puberty. And it becomes a daily thought process. Wait, wait, how much do I weigh? How much do I weigh? What size are my jeans? Well, once you kind of get that under control and you start feeling better, it kind of peels away one layer. And then there's the other things in our life with which we need to deal. You know, a lot of us, we say, oh, I use food to cope. No, I use food to avoid. I, food, I use food to not cope with my problems. I use food, I, I'm not, I'm talking the, the the royal I, the royal we. We use food, not that I think I'm a queen. We use food to not cope. We use it to distract, to deflect, because if we were coping, we may not turn to food. We have to deal with our problems. And that can be an unexpected Surprise, but it's a good thing. I, uh, I'm i going to have a little quick shameless commerce thing for 30 seconds, Hat tip of the hat to the car talk guys. Um, you do not have to buy one thing to be 100% successful at this protocol. Not a kit, not a pill, not a powder, not a, not a meal plan, not a nothing. You don't even need page four lay off the carbs, but I will sell you a mug all day long that actually says lay off the carbs, lay off the excuses. And then it has my mug on the back of the mug, steel water bottle, which is actually pretty good. You can see these at my Teespring shop, which is this tank top I'm wearing. Go keto with Casey. This is a racer back flowy. This for reference, this is the size small also at my Teespring. And then things at my blog, that I may or may not get any of these again. Spiral journal and a pop socket says food is not the boss of me. There you go. I want to thank patrons. I have a private Patreon support group where depending on your pledge level, you receive 20 video snippets from me a month made every weekday morning. The suggestions by and large are made by patrons. Going up from there, a handful of patron-only live streams on Crowdcast each month, going up from there, a handful of patron-only video group sessions on Zoom each month. As a matter of fact, I've got a video group session at 10 a.m. Eastern right after this, and going up from there, monthly one-on-ones with me. And then, depending on your level, I send out, hopefully, inspirational note cards with a handwritten note on the back of each one about four times a year. Okay, commercial over. I will now turn my attention 
two comments here. And I'd love to hear if you guys had any surprises that you said, well, I went in this to lose weight and oh my gosh, this thing happened and I was happy about it. And I'm just going to jump in um, here at the comments as I see them. Um, okay, Brenda. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you for the props. So, so right. Does so everyone like the video? Hey, U A E B I F. Hello. It's been a while. Wonderful photographer. Check out the Instagram United Arab Emirates. Um, BIF. Chris Fox, three months doing keto, strong, lost two stone, feeling healthier. And this is the thing, feeling better. It's great. You know, the, the cosmetic piece of losing weight is great. And not carrying around that weight can make us feel better. But actually feeling healthier. I'm 60. How old am I? 64. And I feel healthier, happier, more vital than I did in my 30s and 40s. It was just no fun carrying around that weight and feeling emotionally the way I did about myself. I'm all about body positivity. When people are happy within their own skin, no matter what their size, I applaud them. I was not one of those people. Plus, everything hurt. And things were going to progress. You know, it's one thing to be morbidly obese when you're 25. Being morbidly obese when you're 45 or 55 is going to lead to health issues. It's almost a given. Okay, Lori Forsyth writes, mental clarity has been a great surprise for me. Yeah, me too. I used to say, you know, I was so smart. And then I blamed it on menopause because we've been told that then menopause hit not, you know, it's like my intellect disappeared. Well, I started this and I got smart again. My, my, it like never did disappear. It was just obscured in a carb haze. Um, okay, Barbara writes, I lost 70 pounds, fatty liver, GERD, and depression in two years. Not sick until this January, and I believe it was a case of the flu. And viruses are tough, as we know. Congratulations, Barbara. That is wonderful. Renee W. writes, I love that my body lets me know if I shouldn't eat something. Like, geez, I feel the swell. Now that I do keto, right? We can, when we're not in a carb coma and we're just kind of, like, well, you know, eating anything that's beige and vast quantities of it, it's like, no, you take, things don't taste and you just eat. Now it's my taste buds have come back alive. And yeah, I'm like the princess in the pea now. I, oh my gosh, Mikos Danes, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, super chat is where you can, do and you, your comment gets pinned. I really appreciate it. Okay. Thank you, Lori. Um, Miko Stans writes, 80 pounds down in 15 months, but weight is secondary. You're right about that, Casey. So many other improvements come first. Thank you for sharing your story and all of us in sharing your wisdom. Helps, helps more than you know. Well, thank you very much. And, uh, and Lori is a keeper of Great Danes. I've met them. They're not in person. They're huge. Jenny Eklof was in a job interview yesterday. I got the job, and I think it's thanks to one year on keto, a result of all that good effort. Lovely to see you, Casey. Lovely to see you, and thank you. I have heard from so many people who applied for positions they never would have applied for before because they didn't feel confident enough or they felt like they would be, someone would make a judgment based on their size. I have felt that before. I was interviewed and, you know, they asked kind of random questions. This was when I was big, you know, interviewers kind of have a list of things. And then sometimes they ask you, so what do you think is your biggest accomplishment? What do you think is your biggest challenge or biggest short? I don't think they use the word failure. Without hesitation, I said, oh, I'm not losing this weight. It's, it's mortifying. The person looked. I said, I'm really successful in almost everything else. And I'm smart. 
Why can't I get through this? And I, I was embarrassed. But people who feel better about themselves maybe take a little bit of a chance. That is wonderful. Okay, Laura Hudson, surprises? Blood pressure, now normal. Knee pain stopped after the first three days. Seasonal allergies, almost non-existent. People find it hard to believe that these things can happen, but it can. Because so much of it comes down to inflammation. So much of it. And glucose and insulin are inflammatory. Well, they go hand in hand. More glucose, more insulin. Very good. Christy Kalichika, Jenny, yay, congrats on the new job. That is so great. Uh, Jenny writes, thanks. Exactly, Casey. Never could imagine to get this position. Hooray. See, these are non-scale victories that have nothing to do with the scale. It has to do with, I have shared much with my patrons yesterday in my, I, I have Reflection Friday morning snippets. And I just kind of think about things I've been thinking about. And I thought, you know, I, I have weighed myself essentially every day and logged it in the, the world's largest spreadsheet going back to December 18th, 2000. And this was, most of those years was a practice in masochism because I would just be bereft. I tried everything and the scale would either not go down or go way up. And I, you know, year over year, I was putting on weight. Then I started keto and it did not become an exercise in masochism. I was a normal gradual loser. I didn't lose 97.4 pounds in the first two years, not the first year, not the first six, three years. And I was thrilled. And I've been weight stable ever since, essentially. I mean, there is every day the scale fluctuates, but I'm thinking I'm just not going to weigh anymore. It's no longer informing my decision-making. I am comfortable with myself. I'm wearing size small and petite small and size six bottoms. And I am strong. I'm strong. Check out, check this out. I mean, I went from someone who hid my arms to I am very proud of my arms. So the scale, if it, if it ruins your day, don't use it. If it gives you data that you use to your benefit, use it. A UAE BIF video was on daily medication for herniated disc, gone, no more pain. Wow. Stephanie Lynn, yes, the chronic post-nasal drip, gone. Never thought that would end besides the biggies, pre-diabetes, high blood pressure, GERD, depression was a sweet surprise too. Like I said, it's not a panacea for everything. And it may reveal, you know, it's not going to fix relationships necessarily, it may reveal the cracks in relationships, but that's part of life, eh? It's not going to prevent you from breaking your leg, but it might help you recover from a broken leg more quickly. Candace B, always love your enthusiasm attitude, makes the lifestyle easy. Thank you. Um, Joni Sanchez, besides the weight loss, mental clarity and mood has improved. See? You think how, why? Is laying off the carbs? Yes. Yes. Now, and if we boil it down, it's not that crazy. I'm, I told myself the same things everyone else tells themselves. This is harder for me than it is for everyone else. I used to be made fun of when I was a kid. Oh, the deep end of I'm not, I'm, I'm being kind of pointed here. And then I would go on eating food that if I stopped for 15 seconds, and really thought about it, said, do I really think that tortilla chips are nutrition? We call it junk food. And then we not only eat it, we feed it to our children and our grandchildren and our families. Even if it's not called junk food, food because, you know, a food manufacturer can put it on, you know, part of a heart healthy diet and put it on a loaf of bread, which has no nutrition. As a matter of fact, the only nutrition that's in the bread is what they've put back in to fortify it because everything's been stripped out. So uh, Susie, Matt, Matt Wetty, Matt Wetwe, Matt Matui, Matt, 
Okay, I like to pronounce names correctly, but that one is a tongue twister for me. Yes, the Durham Support Group was great. For those of you who don't know, and you can see it on my channel, live stream of the Durham Support Group meeting, which was, now we've had our second in-person one with Dr. Eric Glassman and me. And it's fun. We have a shtick. Uh, not a shtick. I mean, that sounds like it's pre... We never so know what we're going to say. We just talk to each other and to the group. Because Dan's agreed the drum support group this week was great to watch. Thank you. Okay. Um, to fix MJ, my thyroid nodules shrunk. Whoa. <laughs> Renee W. writes, my crabby self disappeared. I can relate to that, sister. You know, I was moody. I, I'm a high functioning, I was a high functioning depressive. But I was crabby a lot. Of course, I'm still crabby. Frankly, that is um, maybe more so. Okay, hashtag Casey's Pink Drink. Glass filled with ice, diet tonic water, splash of diet cranberry, and a squeeze of lime. Yeah, I can't say my crabby self disappeared. Christy Kelly Chica lost an additional 175 pounds on keto. Relationship ended. It's a good thing. So what you're saying is you lost 175 pounds, but we're actually on someone else. Yeah, that happens. But it does, it does kind of reveal things, right? Uh, and for anyone who thinks there's a subtext, my relationship with my husband is as good as it's ever been. It did not reveal cracks in our, um, there are cracks in relationship. We're humans and we both have brains and opinions. Um, and we express them. Maybe, maybe I do more than he does, but you know, I, you know, we were married when I was, I mean, well, we got married when I was super cute, but We've been married for uh, 41 years through literally thick and thin. Mary BK, I think eating so much meat makes more muscle ar around bones and protects your bones if you fall. You know, Mary, I don't know that, that eating meat builds muscle. What builds muscle is working out. But sufficient, you need sufficient protein, but it's, you don't have to overload on protein to make sure that the amino acids are there to be able to build the muscles. But thank you. Another um, super chat. Thank you from Princess Ninja and Keto. End your carb confusion and following you has made my journey so much easier. That's great. End your carb confusion by Amy Berger and Dr. Eric Westman um, is uh, recently out. And I, I'm proud to say I'm listed in the acknowledgments at the end of that book. Make me proud. Uh, Christy Kalichika, smiley face, Christina. Barbara, I do have a question. When I lost my initials, when I lost my initial weight, okay, maintenance, hmm. That one I couldn't guess. Okay, I think it, okay, it was retracted. Um. Jennifer um, Bell writes, first time to catch you live. Thank you so much for being my calm voice and my solace through a big life change. Life changes. And here's the thing. I said it myself more than once. I would be you know, on track, not with necessarily keto, just with kind of getting my act together with food. And then life happened, which is a trite and pretty meaningless thing. And it's an excuse because life always happens. You know, life came at me. I wrote a blog post and it shows the, the coast with a bit of the ocean. Life is never going to stop. It's like the ocean. It's like standing on the edge of the ocean and expecting the waves to stop. The waves are always going to come at you. Some days they're, you know, kind of gentle waves and sometimes they are tidal waves. Now, thank you, Mary KJ. Oh no, oh no, fam, not okie dokie. Don't know what that means. 
Thanks for all you do, Casey. Well, thank you very much. Joni Sanchez, my senseless snacking has stopped. I barely think of food. My best-selling t-shirt ever. Food is not the boss of me. I'm thinking of designing one. Neither is the scale. What do you think about that? Or maybe a mug. Maybe not a t-shirt. Um, Crown of Curls, 82. Um, Casey, do you drink electrolytes? No, I do not. I take... Because I've always been prone to uh, muscle cramps at night. I take, this is per the recommendation of Dr. Stephen Finney. I take three MAG-64 tablets every morning. Um, I get, you go to my blog and the cheapest place I found them is Amazon packages of five at a time. And uh, you can see a link there. It's an affiliate link, but I, you know, it's 14 cents. But I take those three a day. That's the, that's it. Okay, Sue W. writes, thank you. I am going to start winding this down. Thank you very much for allowing me to be part of your day and for sharing your stories. And just remember, one thing, if I can do this, you can do this. I 100% promise. But playing at it won't get it done. Don't blame keto for what the almond flour did. Don't blame keto for what the net carbs did. Don't blame keto what the carb cycling did. If it works for you, great. Most people who listen to me are more like me than they are not like me. And I just have to not play. And that's what worked for me. All right. Thank you very much. Be sweet. Just don't eat sweets, for goodness sake. And I hope to see you next time.